Okay, off we go. Welcome everybody to the fifth performance in Alex's Virtual Folk Arts Series. I'm Mary Ann Sosat and I'm an Emeritus member of the Alex Wilson Legacy Fund and I'm so happy to be here to tell you about Barbelfish. Tonight's artist treat, will be treating us to a high energy feast of Pan Balkan and Eastern European folk dance music. Alex Wilson was a longtime folk dancer, storyteller, singer, and a producer of big folk gatherings like this um, that help provoke local musicians and artists. Barbelfish Band has been playing music for dancing and listening since 2003. Julie Lancaster, Jesse Mano, James Hoskins, Steve Mullins, and Amy Self have been playing together since 2003. Tonight, they have a guest singer, Laura Osterman, who is filling in for Lauren Euchre, who is the sixth member of Barbelfish. These musicians have shared their fascination with the rhythms, melodies, harmonies, and the expressiveness of the music from these regions of the world. They have all studied abroad and in the US, and they have played as part of other ensembles and also as solo artists. As I said, each tune tonight has been chosen specifically for dancing. So we hope that each of you here and out there in the larger world will be able to enjoy each tune in your own unique way. Now I'd like to turn the program over to Marble Fish. Have a great time, everybody. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank you for coming, and thanks to you tuning in from home. We started with um, a Serbian Romani song that's very sad, talking about how the, the singer's husband died, leaving her with her children in poverty. We're moving on to a song from Greece that sounds very happy, but it's not necessarily. <laughs> <coughs> it's about crazy love. Don't forget to announce what the dance is. Ah, okay. So the next dance is a sirto. And I believe uh, the people who are attending the live feed have put a set list up there for you for the first set so you can see what dances are coming up and what countries they're from. Sirto, and that will be followed by Patronino, which is a Greek Macedonian dance. But first, Enigma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
μου που το αγαπήσει. Ένιγμα μου, ένιγμα που ποτέ μου δεν θα βρω μια λύση. The next tune is Petronino. Patronino, sorry, Patronino. And um, James is uh, going to be playing Gudulka, which is a Bulgarian folk fiddle. It's not a hard dance to follow. If you're here on the dance floor, just go. Go behind Biz.
drums, as we all are. <laughs> Playing in 11 now. Not on the drums. But not on the drums. We'd like to welcome Laura Osterman to the stage. For uh, Pirin Cervorno. Biz for teaching <laughs> on the fly. I did. Next uh, tune is Kali Tihi, which is Sirto, or special dance Kali Tihi.
Next number is a swing tune.
Tune is a Koponitsa. It's the two fifty, I think. This next one's going to be a, a Bulgarian dance uh, called the Koponitsa.
Ron Gadulka. More tunes in 11. <laughs> And now for a change of pace, Choban Kat from Albania, which talks about the girls knitting warm sweaters for their uh, freedom fighter guys. <laughs> <laughs>
The next tune is Junguritsa, which is a Bulgarian tune in nine. Hey, let us know if this is too fast for you. <laughs> because I know it's too fast for us. <laughs> And for you folks at home, um, I know some of you are tuning in from other states, and we would just love it if you would put a comment in the chat to let us know where you're tuning in from, if you can stop dancing long enough to do that. Thank you. I don't know how it goes. I don't know what the rhythm is.
The Bisley Squad rules. <laughs> <laughs> the captain. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so that was fashion up to them and barely <laughs> slow up to them. Yeah, barely. We met in the middle. The next tune is Orochenitsa. Which is a Bulgarian tune in seven. I know how that one goes. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. that's the wrong instrument. Get the pony. Bring a little sugar in your pocket. It'll make it work better. <laughs> The next tune, Mepirava, is a Macedonian Rome song. And you can dance Indiski Chocek or regular Chocek to it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Actually. You hand it down. It's good enough. 
This will be the last tune of this set. And Chichovata. We're going to take like a 10 minute break, 10 or 15 minute break for tuning instruments and a snack for the band. But we hope you'll stay tuned. If you're at home, we'll be back soon. Good morning, Japan.
Bravo. We want to thank Kyle for doing an amazing job on sound through all of this for the first time with us. Thank you, Kyle. We take a short break. And William doing the vid video so that everyone at home can, can enjoy this also. All right. We'll be back in 10 to 15 minutes, apparently.
Okay, welcome back everybody to the second set of the Barbelfish performance. I'm Mary Ann Sosat from the Alex Wilson Legacy Fund and we have a few thank yous uh, before they start their second set. Uh, first of all, thank you to all the dancers who came out to enjoy this wonderful live music tonight and, and thank also to all of you who are joining us from afar. We're very, uh, very happy to hear from you. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the Avalon and the Boulder Dance Coalition uh, for making it possible to have this event uh, in this beautiful space at an affordable cost. Thank you very much. And specifically, Jim Schwarzkopf, the manager of the Avalon. Where's Jim? Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Um, and the staff from the Alex Wilson group currently. A board member we have with us, Scott Gregoire, Judy Wong, and Susan Franchak. They're the new incoming board. And also Julie Lancaster is the fund administrator that works um, with that group as well. So thank you for, for all the help with publicity and just visualizing this whole art series. Um, yeah, <laughs> Scott's, Scott's about there. Also, um, William Garrison for the video and live stream support. Yeah. And Kyle, I don't know your last name, but Kyle's running sound for us tonight. Um, also, uh, we have Dan Osterman and Biz Hertzberg have helped us to monitor the broadcast, so thank you to both of you. Also, Tom Masterson was involved in the early coordination and uh, setting up of the venues for the uh, series. And uh, finally, a big thank you to the Boulder International Folk Dancers, uh, teachers and groups in this area who have helped us with publicity. Thank you very much. So without further ado, here we are back with Barbel Fish. Enjoy. <laughs>
Next, Next up is a grouse goal. I learned this from Nikolai Kolev, my absolute favorite Godolka maestro teacher. And it, it wouldn't uh, be right to play this music without crediting the East European Folklife Center um, that puts on Balkan camps on the West Coast and East Coast and has for many years. Uh, most of us have attended those camps and that's where we learned so much about these instruments and traditions. And you can learn about them at eefc.org online. They're now offering lots of workshops um, virtually, thanks to the pandemic, as well as looking forward to actual camps this year. That's where James met his Gadulka teacher.
next tune is a Veranche. Uh, go ahead and what, what were you going to say about it? The next tune is a Veranche. <laughs> <laughs> fairly lopsided. <laughs> it's an even rhythm, but it's lopsided.
Next up is Fidushko. We're going to medley a couple of them. I think Biz might have a few variations. Three verses in each one? Yeah. Thank you. That was the tune from which Barbelfish gets its name. <laughs> the singer is saying, oh, girl, you little red apple, you little Barbelfish. <laughs> and we thought that was funny, <laughs> that, that they would liken a beautiful girl to a fish that has little dealies coming out of it mm. next to its mouth like a catfish. <laughs> but apparently, they're very lithe and beautiful in the water. So I think that's the reference. Just you should like come to one of our underwater <laughs> gigs. Beautiful. The next tune is a Bravo. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Bravo to Batista. Camera. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go 
go right back around there. This next uh, tune is a uh, Copanitza, and in the middle of it, we've inserted oh. the melody for uh, Old Chapulska, which, which uh, has been taught recently at uh, BIFD. And I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, wait a second. Huh? I'm having a problem here. <laughs>
Laura, do you want to say something about this next tune? Oh, this is a song probably from the 1950s in Russia about a, uh, what are they, ash tree? Yeah, an ash tree, a rowan tree that falls in love with an oak across the way. And oh my gosh, she would love to move to him, but she realizes she can't. Uh, it's not meant, it's not her uh, faith, fate, sorry. Uh, so she has to stay alone forever. Aww. Yeah, it's pretty sad. <laughs> Thank you. 
So next is a Kalamatiano. You can dance Sirto to it.
And next we have Opa Tsupa, Serbian Romani song. Is this our penultimate song? It is. It is our penultimate song. Penultimatum.
you. We have one last tune. Um, but before we sing it, we, want, we hope that some of you will help put chairs away. I mean, you don't have to put chairs away before the last tune. <laughs> but please don't just run off. Help with the chairs. That would be lovely. And say hi. And say hi, yeah. And okay. Don't leave don't any baklava behind. Don't leave baklava behind. But do leave tips. Tips. <laughs> and um, yeah, we had s some people chime in on the live stream, and we had viewers from Austin, Texas, and the mountains above Denver, and Boston, and Kansas City. Nice. So yeah. Yes. Pardon? New Year's Day. The next time we'll be in this building is New Year's Day. Thank you. Yes. Over in Sodal Hall. Elder International Folk Dancers has invited us to play at their New Year's Day party. Oh, it's going to be in this room. Great. And uh, the last time we played live was for the New Year's Day party in January 2020. So we're pretty excited. It's a less noto, it's easy for everybody.
Thank you.